Hello, my friends. I've been buying singles. There's a lot of good players in 2022 Tops update. These are the cards that I've been buying. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to open up some friend mail. I'm going to open up some stuff from Tops and some singles I've been buying on eBay. We're going to start off with something from Tops. I don't know exactly what this is. Oh, okay. Check this out. Little bit of tops.com action. Every once in a while, a player comes along that I have to have in one format or the other. And this, my friends, is the Spencer Strider game within a game. He, you know, he's been left off of some checklists and. I like the game within a game cards. I like them a lot. And here they are. So I had to buy a handful of them. Now I'm just going to start ripping. I don't know if any of this is friend mail or just straight up eBay purchases, but we'll find out after I open them. I'll probably recognize the cards from memory. Maybe, maybe I won't. Oh, we're starting off with this one. You know, nothing big, not a big deal, but I, I like this card, this Soto. Uh, I thought it looked nicely centered and, you know, 100 career home runs for Soto, rainbow foil parallel, very affordable. It was only like a buck. I paid a dollar forty-eight with shipping for that card. I couldn't help myself. The beautiful, beautiful eBay standard envelope. It's such a game changer, the eBay standard envelope. Game, game changer for buyers and sellers. All right, what is this? I don't remember getting this. Torkelson. Did I buy that? This is from John. I don't remember buying this. Is this a, let me just check this out. Is this friend mail? I think it is. Yeah, this is some friend mail from John. That's an awesome card, dude. The blue generation now Torkelson. I like that a lot. Thank you for sending that. Oh, it's a Bobby W. Looks like a Bobby W in a one touch. I think we got a good one on our hands here. I'm in the Bobby game right now. I'm trying to find an inefficiency in the market and boom, hits you with one of these. Oh, oh, it's, it's glorious. It's better than I thought it was going to be. He looks good. Shipped in a one touch. Bravo, my friend. This was $130, $130. That's a lot to pay for a, a baseball, a raw baseball card. But man, that's the blue number to 150 and it looks sweet. I'm happy. I'm happy with that purchase. I'm having fun buying singles. That's all. That's all it is. And what do we have here? Just, you know, I didn't pull this out of my jumbo case. And that's one of the cards I wanted was the Julio Mojo silver pack Julio. It's just the base regular one, but since I didn't get it, I had to buy it. Ended up costing about $48 after tax and shipping. This is the way to do it. Oh, this is from Andrew. Okay. I was going to say, this is a nice envelope to mail in. This is from Andrew. I believe this is friend mail. No note in here? Come on, guys. Leave me a little note if you want. You don't have to. But I appreciate you. Covering him up. Correa. Couple of Correas. Correa to 199 And base Correa. Thank you. This is from Jason. I think we might have some more friend mail here. Oh, wow. My boy, Bo, and a turkey. First MLB hit comes on a game-tying three-run home run for Wander. I like that, man. I don't have that card. Some of these Tops Now cards are really cool. Oh, my gosh. No way.
Oh, this is funny. We're adding them to the mix. We're adding Selig to the mix for sure. Oh, wow. Bud Selig, Miller Park, first pitch, April 6th, 2015. Look at him. Look at the look at Selig. Wow, he looks good. Okay, next up, this has got to be a purchase. Packed very well. Cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is, you know, in one of my videos, I said. The regular scotch tape, should this this person should know better. You don't use scotch tape. If you guys are wondering how to ship cards, use painter's tape. It comes off easily. It doesn't leave residue. But I appreciate the effort this guy put in. He's He did a good job. Alec Thomas Gold. Um, affordable. That's the key. Affordable, gold, rookie. Alec Thomas had a positive war. 0.5 war, I believe. Young, young enough. And I paid, after tax and shipping, $22.79. About $23 for this. I think I probably overpaid. I think I, I, I was maybe jumping the gun on this, this one a little bit. But it's in pretty good condition. I think if I were to do it all again, I wouldn't pay over. Well, I mean, you know, the price was $17.50 on that card. So under 20 bucks was kind of what I was looking at. And it was under 20. And then you add tax and shipping on there, and it ends up being a little bit over 20. So it's not breaking the bank. And if Alec Thomas ends up being pretty good, uh, that's going to be a very nice speculation. See, this, this ain't going to cut it as far as shipping. This ain't going to cut it. It's fine. I mean, I like it just from an annoyance standpoint, you know, with all this paper hanging on here and the scotch tape. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. You did a decent job. It's just the scotch tape and the paper is not great. And then the scotch tape on here, too. We got to, we got to use painter's tape, folks. Look at this. Messy, sticky, residue. And now we can look at the card. It's a Spencer Torkelson black gold. Black gold. Looks good. And this one was pretty cheap. $19.99 plus tax and shipping. $22 bucks. So about $20. I'm, I'm looking in that $20 range for affordable cards that I think are really cool. Next up. Oh, uh, I mean, we're judging packing. We're judging uh, my purchases. Are they good, bad? Put it in the comments below. What do you think of these purchases? What's your favorite one? I want to know what you like the best. Let's get some community feedback here. What are you guys looking for? Are you looking for any particular player to, to catch them on the cheap? Man, what do we have here? This has got to be something good. And a one touch. Well packaged, my friend. Looking like a five star pack job. Oh, baby. Look at that beauty. I've been looking at a lot of these Wanders, these gold, gold foil, Wander Cup parallels, because Wander's like, you know, fifth on the guys you might think about, sixth, because just because it's a rookie debut. But that is a beautiful card. And this gentleman put in a one touch. I appreciate that. Let me guess. I'm going to guess it's probably in the $20 range. This one was a little more. 32 bucks plus ship. So 3603 with shipping and tax and all that. What a cool card. I I dig that one, man. The theme with a lot of these is parallel. Looking for parallels and now that I know after four cases ripping four different kinds of cases, now that I get a feel of how rare a card is, how uh how nice it looks. How, you know, how often are you pulling a, a blue parallel of a black gold, you know? How many golds do you get per box, gold foils? And how is the condition on those cards when you get them? These are all questions that I, I had before I started buying singles, and now I have the answer, so these are the singles I'm buying. 
because of how hard they are. Well, that was a nice thought. Threw a bunch of tigers in here. Who sent that? Jory. Jory Friend. His last name's Friend? What a friendly gentleman. There's Torkelson. Torkelson debut. I thought it was nicely centered. And it's a cheap card. It's affordable. And Torque, you know, I'm from Michigan. Let's see. This was the first card I bought. And it was $8. Plus tax and shipping gets us to $14.42. So with tax and shipping, man, shipping was expensive on this. I probably should have looked at that before I bought it. Next up, look at this. The Bobby Gold. 957 of 2022. Now, this is also the rookie debut. This dude just taped the crap out of this. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. How am I even going to get through this? Brother. Isn't it funny? Everybody's got their own different way of shipping. Let's get a better look at it now. Cool. Looks centered. Looks pretty crisp. I'm in gold Bobby debut. You know, if I pull that out of a pack, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what it cards that if I pull them out of a pack, I would be happy with. That's the theme. I had to buy the Bobby mullet card. I just, I just had to have it. And then I pulled it out of a pack. So now I have two. Woohoo. I got two Bobbies, two mullet SP Bobbies. And I couldn't be happier. That one I paid like 119.62. Oh yeah, had to keep the theme. I love the black gold blues. They're so crisp. You know, am I gonna pull a blue parallel of the black gold Bobby just opening random packs? Probably not. How much did that cost? Just buying it, fifty bucks. Fifty is kind of a lot, maybe, but I don't know. Man, this is a weak, pathetic like falling apart envelope I think this one's been used but like 17 times Jeter Downs I don't remember buying you <laughs> a couple of freebies but the good one Oh, nice. Torkelson Gold. There he is. How much did I pay for that? 26 bucks plus tax and shipping gets us to almost 30 bucks. And last but not least, that's a lot of singles <laughs> coming in. What do we have left? I, I don't know. I, oh, that's what we have. Yeah, these, these just look too affordable to me. I think the rookie debuts, I used to not like them as much. But right now, for some reason, I'm like all about the rookie debuts. I like turning it over and seeing what his actual stats were and it actually talking about his debut game. One for four with a double and an RBI. The game's top prospects was the youngest player in the Royals' history to make an MLB debut on opening day. He was 21 years old. He was also their first player to have been born in the 21st century. Game-winning RBI. Dude is awesome. And that's a great card, too. Normally, I don't like horizontals. But what a sweet card, having him sign a ball and just toss it back. And, like, the look in his eyes, he's just, like, happy to do it. You know, he looks like, hey, there you go. I don't mind. Like, I'm just happy to be here. So, all in all, let me know what your favorite card was for this entire rip. I'm having fun buying singles and I'm buying more too. I'm looking every day, just seeing if I can get a good price. There's so many good cards out of this set and I'm having so much fun opening it and buying singles that I, I hope it just keeps on going. We're gonna have more releases coming out. We're gonna have Chrome update coming out soon and that's gonna be fun swooping up cards, singles and opening packs for that too. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.